Hi, this is Sora here from Wizards Code. This is part two of my weekend hack to create a simple hunting game as cheaply as possible. There is a deer just there. Let's see if we can get him. Got him. There's another one over there. Let's see if we can get him too. Yes, got two out of two. Excellent. You'll see in the middle of the screen here that there is a score. There's a rabbit there. There we go. There is a score in the middle of the screen and down on the bottom left is the total score. So that's what we're going to be working on in this video. We are going to have penalty points. Let's injure that one there. I deliberately didn't kill it. Now if you look in the bottom left, the points are going down. That's because I injured a poor animal and it's not died. It's going to bleed out. So I'm going to lose points for that particular animal. And there's another deer there. If I hit it in the head, then I get an instant kill, and therefore I get the points. Okay, this is obviously very easy right now. I've built it for testing, um, but we can make that more difficult in the future. So let's have a look at how we do the scoring, and uh, we're going to add in the bunnies, and we're also going to do the blood loss system. Let's get going. Okay, so let's have a look at how the blood system works. I've selected one of my deer and I've gone into the Emerald AI system and selected the UI settings tab. That enables me to open up the combat text manager and I can enable the combat text state here. And what that does is it allows us to see in game the amount of damage we're doing. So if I shoot this fella here, you'll see I do an amount of damage, 100, you may have seen it fly off. And then there's constant damage being done. This is the blood loss damage. Ignore the other text on the screen at the moment, but if I now run over to where he was, you can see he has bled out. Okay, and the other numbers you see on the screen, in the center of the screen and the bottom left, they're the score. We're going to look at those uh, in a short while, but for now, well, let's just focus on how do we make that blood loss system work. What I've done, if I open the deer prefab, and if I search in here for the hitbox, any hitbox, let's just look at one, they're all the same. I've replaced the damage handler with this new custom damage handler the blood loss damage handler. So let's take a quick look at that. Now this is uh, not a lot of code, but there's some code in here. I'm not gonna go over it in total detail. Uh, you can download this code, check the description in the link below. It's available under an open source license. You can use it to do whatever you want. And in here, essentially what it's doing is it's saying, when you get damage, then calculate whether or not we should add some blood loss damage. And then, depending on how much blood loss we have, we will calculate an amount of damage in each update. And every time that goes over two, we will register that damage with the creature. That's just a small optimization. And so that's what we saw, the damage flying off from the text and eventually it bled out. Now in a later iteration, I'll probably put um, a, a healing thing in so that, not so much healing, but the blood loss will slow down over time. But right now it doesn't. It just continues bleeding until the beast has died. And that's it. That's as simple as that. It uses all of the same systems that were already in there to manage the damage, etc. The other pieces that we've got in here are really just setting it up to catch the fact when it dies. For example, we're catching the event for on is alive changed and that destroys this object to stop the bleeding. So that's the blood loss system. Now let's have a look at how the scoring system works. And we start off with some deer right in front. So we can take this fella out. And you can see in the middle of the screen there, it says shot for minus 25, hit for 100, critical for 100, and kill for 100. And down in the bottom left, 275 points is the balance. So let's go and hit one of these guys over here, but let's not kill him outright. So here in the middle, you see shot for minus 25, hit for 100. Now, as we just saw, he's now gonna be bleeding out. If you look at the score in the bottom left, you can see it's actually going down because we've left an animal suffering. So one of them bled out, there's another kill. You can see that I'm not bleeding out, but I'm on a balance of minus 46 now. So how does it work? Let's have a look. If we go into our hunting managers here, and we have this score manager object. Let's open that up. 
And this score manager basically keeps track of the score. It can decide how many points you're gonna lose on a shot. At the end, it'll output a log. Currently outputs it into the uh, debug log. So we can see the log here. There is the first shot, there's the second shot. In the debug log, it does tell you the blood loss. I decided not to put that on the screen because it would have just been flashing up all the time. So you have timestamps and everything on all of those. So that's just a quick textual representation. In the logs itself, you can create more complex uh, reports of the hunting session. What else is happening inside of here? We can add items to the log and this is where the real work is done. Uh, we also have methods that can be called for a particular kill or landing a critical hit or anything that score, does a score or, or changes the score. Now you may have noticed when I hit play button earlier on that there were some rabbits in the scene. But there was only one, a single lonely rabbit. Not very good. Let's have more. So if we go into our creatures we can find our rabbit here. And this was set up in exactly the same way. We created an Emerald AI object out of it, set up the animations and so on. And then we added the Neo FPS Emerald AI initializer override, the async load fixer, and the AI health manager. This fella gives us 50 points for a kill, much easier to kill, but much smaller. So fair enough. All right, so we already have it as a prefab, so let's select the prefab over here. And we're just gonna drag a whole load of these into the scene. Let's start by putting one near this fella that we have here. Whoops, let's drag him in. Now, it doesn't matter what orientation I make these because Emerald AI has a setting in it which will automatically randomize your orientation on startup. So I have a whole bunch of them now immediately in front of me. And if I hit play, there they all are. Not running away from me just yet, but if I shoot, they do mostly run away. This guy's a bit brazen, isn't he? Serves him right. And the other ones run away. Oh no, he's there. I'm not sure why they're not running away. We'll have a look at that in a minute. I actually missed him. There we go. All right, so let's just put a whole new load of those all over the map. There we go, hit play. Let's ignore these ones here. I think I put some of it. There's one, I believe. Yes, I hit him at a good range. Now that gives me an idea for the score. Maybe I should be getting more points depending on the range. So there we have it for this week. A weekend's work captured in two videos. Took me about 10 hours, but the code that you need there to be able to reproduce this is all available in a GitHub repo. See the description below and have a try. See what you can do with this. See if it actually works for you. Let me know if it doesn't because I'd love to make it work for you. And if there's any details that are really complex and you can't follow, just let me know and I will at least answer your questions. See you soon. Back to zombies next week.